Battle Vortex. Well, I am uh, back again. I'm going to uh, basically, uh, I guess there, there's one more campaign I believe that I, I haven't done a video from yet, and that would be uh, uh, Death Grip. Um, so uh, the Death Grip is basically hitting uh, uh, occupied bases, Op uh, Jack occupied forsaken bases. I guess is what it is. So this one right here, really, uh, I've only got an hour and a half left of the half repair time, but um, I guess I'll get some of it, but it's not a big deal, I guess. Uh, if I need to slow repair a little bit, I will. It's not a, not a huge deal. Um, um, I think I'll start off with... Um, Oh, why not? I'd just go start off with the Siege Missile Fleet because um, this right here is like would be the least impacting for me, quite honestly. All right, so now I got one hour to get going. <clears throat> well, to get it finished. <clears throat> Excuse me. So hopefully everybody had a good raid. Alright, first one was really easy, which I expected it to be. <clears throat> Let's see if I can get the free repair on that. If anything, a half repair is definitely good for that, because it cuts your, obviously your repair in half. And so if it was normally a 10 minute repair, at least this way here, it would be a... Um, a five. Maybe in a few, uh, <clears throat> after I knock this out and I, uh, maybe I'll go out and try, try getting some alliance points. I got a watcher. I wonder if that means I'm getting ready to get a test. <laughs> you know, I'm not the only one who's going to be looking for alliance points today. <clears throat> it is Monday and it's afternoon, so alliance points are reset.
Alright. Wave 2 done. Damage wasn't too bad. When I go into my base this time, I'm going to go ahead and pull my subs out. And uh, really just because, um, you know, if I get hit and my dock manages to get killed, I'd like to be able to at least uh, rank them up or whatever. Well, it looks like one of them just, and it's over five minutes for that one, and I'm I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go ahead and knock this out, right? Oh, yep. I know I actually did this uh, campaign originally when the campaign system was brand new and I hadn't touched it since. So quite honestly, um, this is kind of like new to me all over again. But, um, you know, I'm confident that I can do it. I mean, <clears throat> I can do these with my old fleets. You know, if I use my new fleets, I mean, it really wouldn't, it wouldn't be anything. Gotta love retargeting. Golly, man, it's like the stuff works really, really good. Bam. Nice. <clears throat> well, I'm sure that's not going to be another instant repair, so I'm just going to go ahead and put it right in, right back in. At least this one they put in some real halos. Sort of the arc missile. See if I can uh, do a little beat, bit of beaching here. All right, well, I did. I ended up killing it quicker than I wanted to. I 
don't even have to do any beaching. That one's got two wall blocks in front of it. That's why that, that one there didn't get hit. Now, being that this guy here is already shooting at me, there's really no point in sitting still uh, because he can outrange me. So it's really kind of pointless. Sitting still basically just makes sure that I don't outrun the halos. told you to hit that building. Oops. Okay, let's go ahead and check out this next one. Oh man, this one here could be fun. Yeah, same guy watching me. Um, this one right here, I'm, I'm actually wondering... Um, Hey, Freak Kitchen. Uh, yeah, I think so. Well, this is the whatever one is the Forsaken bases. Uh, uh, let me let me jump. I'm probably going to jump out of this one because this one out here is more of like a uh, rush base. I can't really sit still, and ballistic defense is really important on this one. And um, I know this is something I really got to move hard, hard and fast on. So. Probably get ready to use my pinch on this one. Um, I'm actually just going to try to run for it. I'm going to go ahead and just park right here and just kill what I can. And then let me get my rocket ready. I'm going to drop my rocket right here. Basically, you know, I can, uh, once I see all of the, the jabs are firing, yeah, I'll be able to save myself some damage this way. No, it lost a boat, darn it. Now, if I can get around and actually get inside the range, the uh, minimum range of these guys, I'll be able to just start tearing them up. Yeah, I actually just used one. I know we got a little bit of latency, though. I think you're probably like 20 seconds or so behind. Hey, Foxo. Uh, behind me. Oh, I'm not going to make it. Let's 
Let's go ahead and start working on some of these uh, turrets here. Park right there. All right, what do you think? Oh, wow. Boy, don't get much closer than that. Hey, Immortal. Oh, congratulations, Fox, so with the Avenger. Yeah, this one's a Zoe Stingray, sure is. I, uh, I'm really not after a fleet of Zoe's, but um, uh, quite honestly, I, I really just wanted to get a video of each one of the different campaigns, um, really primarily so I could remember them. That's going to take forever with one <laughs> MCX. I didn't even realize there's another turret sitting here. <clears throat> Maybe I ought to just come back in here with my uh, Atlas carriers and finish that off. I'm pretty sure I can outrange that. Things got some evade, and it's just amazing to see my missiles miss at such close range. I'm kind of wondering how evade works too, and uh, I guess it's guidance scrambler, right? It's like how do you actually evade? Uh, it, to me, evade sounds like it requires maneuvering <laughs> to 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 cause a uh, projectile to miss. And uh, he's obviously sitting still, but I guess with the guidance scrambler, there we go. Boy, that took a while. All right, well, I'll go ahead and get this one here started repairing. And um, death grip, yes. And I got two more to go. Now, it's kind of when, when your uh, halftime repair is getting ready to go away, it's really kind of important to pay attention to that one hour, 17 minutes, because things get screwy when your uh, repairs are carrying over. So right here, it would be five hours and 11 minutes. But uh, here, I can actually make sure this, at least this one gets done. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, sonar on the guard. No sonar on the guardian. Yeah, that would have been would have been smart. All right, um, let me get another pinch going, and uh, I don't know what the next one looks like, but um, let me see. I usually put drones in with this guy. Let me, let me peek it. All 
Oh. All right. This one right here, um, I don't know, I'm kind of thinking I should be able to do okay with this one right here, um, with this particular fleet. Simon's watching me. Well, wow, bombards are awesome, aren't they? That bombard sucks. How am I faring against the Guardian Mortars? I don't know. That's what I'm talking about. That's the only thing I got to deal with is that guardian. I probably shouldn't have walked into the highway, but... It seems like the moving keeps makes the uh, makes it harder for bombards to shoot your mortars down. Just just being on the move. Now, if I recall, the last one should have a Nemi in it.
All right. Pretty sure I know what the next one looks like. I'll go ahead and try it with, uh, I, I use my Harlocks because I don't have a pinch. Um, I would have liked to hold, held on to my Harlocks, but um, like I said, I don't really have a pinch, so I need to go ahead and knock this, this thing out. Well, this could be bad because I don't have anything to counter mortars on this fleet. But yeah, my Harlocks chew up a nemesis, so I love watching that. Yep, here comes the big mortars. Yeah, it wasn't too bad. I was expecting it to be worse, to be honest with you. I wasn't sure I was going to make it. I was just I didn't have anything on here for mortars, so outrunning was really my only option. 
But, Zoe. Thank you. I love these Harlocks, man. These, these things are a beast. Well, let me see. I'm going to go ahead and cancel those MCXs just because they're like the least useful thing that I own. And, uh, ah, screw it. I'm, I'll go ahead and just keep this whole thing in here. I'm going to let this repair go through this particular one. And then uh, those MCXs, I'll just get to them when I get to them. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and try to get these repaired, and then maybe I can get on here a little bit later and uh, get my alliance points. But I'm going to go ahead and end this video and uh, end this stream and uh, get it pushed up to uh, YouTube. And uh, maybe I'll see you guys again tonight.